It's been a while since we made a video, and it's also been a while since the spoiler came in. This is the Circuit Edition spoiler. This only comes on the Circuit Edition GR Corollas, not the Marizo, not the Core, but I got a Core, I want a big wing, I want to compensate, so let's throw this thing on there. Toyota does make a template that you can get for the XSE spoiler that fits on the wing and shows you exactly where to drill. Now the issue with that is A, you have to pay for it, and B, it actually has additional holes that this wing does not call for. So I have seen online some folks get that template, super excited, 20 bucks from your local Toyota dealership, they drill all five holes and realize I don't have the two outer ones. I did see online there is another company that shows you kind of how to do this. So we're gonna borrow a little bit of that and then just see if there's any other tweaks that we can put on it. And my other thought is before we go ahead and install the spoiler is actually make our own template that we can duplicate. And then if any of you guys want that or if you want to get one of these spoilers yourself, we can include that template. If you want the template, I'll probably just get it printed out of like paper. If you guys want it, I could probably have it happen. Oh! All right, the first thing you're gonna do is open the trunk. You know how to do that, I hope. If you don't, unlock it, press the button. The next thing I'm gonna do is find the access panels for the third brake light, and then we are gonna be messing around with these two 10 mil bolts right here. There's two on each side, so that's four. So we're gonna go ahead and use a pry tool to remove this trim piece very easily. I could use the better tool to do this, but no, no, that's not. All right, and then it appears as though, I thought these were 10 mil from what I read on the internet. I always trust the internet, but these are actually eight mil. Yo, is this a sailboat? So this popped right off. There are these two clips, which pull, they don't pull this way, like towards the very back of the car. They kind of pull out, pull it out nice and hard. Great job. I did have uh, the lower gaskets on both sides stick to the car itself, so I just made sure to take those off. In case there are extra gaskets that come with it, I don't want that to be in the way, I don't know. Oh yeah. It's a nice little touch. The next step from what I read is to mark off where we're gonna screw. So it's three on the top and then one on each side. I just mocked it up really quick and it likes to fit in the correct spot it's going. But what I wanna make sure is that when I mark the spots to drill, it doesn't get smudged or smeared while I'm trying to center the wing. So what I might do is there's these little clips that the wing comes with that go in these slots. And then they're going to press into the existing like where those red two clips were. I think what I might do is actually put one of those clips or both of those clips in and that way I can kind of snap the wing on and really know that it's the correct spot to drill before we drill instead of, like I said, smearing or smudging it while I'm trying to center the wing. So I might do that. Obviously we're gonna have to pull the wing off pretty good to disengage those, but I just wanna make sure that I'm really confident with where I need to drill into the factory car before I do so. All right, so what's included in the hardware bag is we have six of these little clips here that have gaskets on them. We have four of these longer bolts and then five of these smaller ones. So I'm kind of assuming that the longer ones are gonna replace the two eight mil on each side that we took out. These five are gonna go in the holes that we're about to drill. And then these other six clips are just gonna go in various spots in the spoiler. Oh, and also, like I said, these are gonna replace the factory little things we had there. All right, so these clips are gonna go right in. All right, and then as far as the other parts, the hardware, like I said, is gonna come through these two holes and go through these and go into the wing, so we don't have to worry about that now. And then this right here, the clip is gonna go on the spoiler side and then push into that. This is how it should be. This is all the stuff we have to put on right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and stick this on. And like I said, this way we'll know that the spoiler is lined up when we go to mark the holes to drill. All right, I'm already feeling more confident about drilling the holes. So what I'm gonna do is these plush gaskets here are gonna be exactly where we're gonna to wanna to drill. My thought is I actually have some dye. I was gonna like use paint or some like grease or something like that. I don't have anything that's like colorful. As far as grease, we have dielectric grease, which is clear, not gonna help. So I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of dye. It shouldn't make the gaskets like hardened at all. I mean, I should be able to use, just use a towel to kind of dab it off, but that'll at least give us like a nice clear black marking of where to drill. All right, new plan of attack. We're just gonna make sure that it's lined up before we drill some stuff. So what we're gonna do is put the dye on these little gaskets. We're gonna lift the trunk over and actually bolt in, and that should give us a good enough idea of where it goes. I hope this is enough dye to stamp correctly. We did redo this side. What I would do next time, we, we dab my holes, 
So those are all cleaned up. What I would do next time is probably use something a little less runny. I think it was just like too yeah, thin of a liquid to do that. It did give us a good impression along the top, especially you can see exactly where the last part, it did smudge, but you can see where like the last imprint was on all these. So we're gonna go with that. And then over here, this is our last impression. You can see right there. Dan's just double checking with a ruler here, making sure that everything looks uniform. But I feel pretty confident about this. So we're about to drill these with quarter inch drill bit. Like I said, feeling pretty good about it. So we just gotta make sure we don't hit the wires inside. And then, yeah, go from there. We are gonna try to remove the main harness that comes through this galley plug here. So the tab, it feels like is on the top, but I think I got my finger on it. There we go. All right, cool. So at least that gets some of the stuff out of the way. We still have our washer fluid, which, oh, look at that. So yeah, it looks like pretty much everything's out of the way now. All right, here we go. Let's start in the middle and things up from the inside out. No going back now. Wait, it's a lease? <laughs> with all the dealer installed uh, accessories that these things yeah. mandatory come with, I'm surprised they didn't have the spoiler on. No one will tell. So the thing I don't know is if I go through the bottom plastic or not. So let's see. Hey, what you doing in there? Hey, what you doing? <laughs> all right, we kind of goofed. <laughs> so we drilled all the holes. I was gonna check on these far ones to see if we go all the way through and I wanna make sure that I don't hit the metal body. I went to open the trunk and it wouldn't open so I was like, must have locked itself, right? Wrong. We unplugged the main harness so we wouldn't drill through it. Obviously it controls all that. So it is accessible, kind of. Uh, so Dan's in there trying to get a plug back in so we can open the trunk again. Hey, what you doing in there? Uh, you know, trying to plug the plug in, dude. In your new trunk. What's worse than drilling through your wiring? Unplugging the whole thing. <laughs> we should have just recycled the whole car. That's true. The wing is recyclable. Oh, <gasps> we did it. Oh. How was that? Hey, it's a little hot in there, man. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this tool that we... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have this deburr tool. So what we're gonna do is gently go around this. There are some little burrs, and what I don't wanna do is have that push up on the washer, which is supposed to waterproof this bit. Burr! Do you ever feel like wow. in 2006? And 07 with that chicken top. So with these side holes, we did notice that there is a air gap between the outer and inside panel. Now that inside panel is quite large. Excuse me a moment. It's gonna be pretty hard to remove. Secondly, if we were to screw down these outer ones, that air gap is gonna pinch together and either the outside or inside plastic is gonna warp and deform. So what we're gonna do instead is drill a slightly larger hole now that we have these pilot holes on each side to accommodate the screw head. And that means the screw is gonna go all the way to that outer plastic panel. We'll see what kind of depth we can get out of this bad boy before I... My thought is if I don't feel like it's getting enough, <laughs> if I don't feel like enough threads are screwing in, I'll just go ahead and over drill the inside panel to accommodate the head of the screw. We'll see what we have to do. But at this point, I do believe we are ready to line that circuit edition spoiler up. So let's give it a go. Peel it off like a band-aid. Looks good, looks good. So I'm just pushing all these little tapey boys out the way so they don't get covered up and we can pull them after we get the spoiler on. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the clips in on each side. We're really just praying to our brother in Christ that they line up, all the holes line up that we drilled. So let's we'll just give it a shot, you know? If we mess it up, we'll just sell it for over MSRP. We didn't do too bad. Next time, like I said, I would probably use a thicker, viscous material to stamp it. The four outside holes are like perfect, no issues. The inside one does like it, like it slipped a little bit. So I'm just gonna drill that from the underside here, which shouldn't be a problem at all. The thing that I'm realizing now is we were talking about making a template before we installed the wing and we did just clip it on. So I'm gonna give it a quick tug. If it doesn't come off easily, sorry, we'll do another one. Hey, you know what I just thought of? Isn't this the equivalent of running a WRX with an STI wing? Uh, no, like we didn't badge it with the circuit edition badge. Uh, it's got the performance package, but it has the brakes and everything like that. So like an LSD, so it, essentially it is, a, it, it's a circuit edition. Just like, you know, with the WRX, if you put an STI turbo or an STI motor in it, it's, it's an STI. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually wrap the roof in forged carbon fiber. Um, I did just clean the top with some glass cleaner just to make sure there's no dirt. The car is very dirty as you can see. And this should be the last time that we install the wing here. So 
The end four screws went in fine. These ones we are gonna have to open this hole up larger to accommodate the head of the screw. And these ones on the outside of the center are a little weird. I'm just having a, I don't have very large hands, but I am having a tough time lining these ones up. So I just put it in our wrench here and I'm just gonna tilt it in to find its home there, which I did. And then I actually took my little socket here with an extension and put it right through this hole. I'm not super worried about that. It's slightly larger than it wants to be, but it's just gonna have to deal with it. I'm just gonna use this deburr tool just to open it up a little more and then also just clean up some of the plastic we marred a little bit. I'm definitely gonna toss something over top of this just so you can't see it, but we're gonna have a much tighter fit now. Good gravy. So we have all five of the top screws. We have the four lower screws. I'm gonna put this reverse panel, the reverse, or sorry, third brake light cover panel back on. And the last thing we're gonna do is remove the 3M tape and this protective barrier here. So, peel some stuff. Oops. All right, and then we're just gonna press firmly on those areas to make sure they get a nice bond. Shorty got the big back now. Dude. I think it went pretty swimmingly. Yeah, I was just like the top three bolts are a little hard to get to, so maybe if I had like a smaller swivel for a, a ratchet, but besides that, I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Looks good. It'd be cool to have like a little, uh, yeah, little gurney flap there, so maybe I'll look into that. Next up for the car is going to be the MBRP exhaust. We have the dual center exit carbon fiber tip, as well as our Fortunato coilovers. So those are the 500s with Swift Springs. We should have those on next week. Let us know what you think of the Circuit Edition spoiler. If you've seen other spoilers, let us know below and we can check out some reviews of those as well. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.